and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu enchantments. That's right, we got a an enchantment based deck here in the Mardu Callers. This one should be a pretty cool control deck that we're going to be playing a league with and seeing if we can get to five wins before two losses. Hawkeye is all excited about this one. That's my cat. Um, as you can see, he's up here ready to go. Uh, this is very, very close to the Orzhov control list that we played yesterday. If you're watching that video um, over on YouTube later, if you're watching or if you're here in, in the stream, of course. Um, but the Orzhov control list that, that we played yesterday was really cool. I was really impressed with Doom Foretold, Cavalier of Dawn, Liliana, Dreadhorde General, like those top end cards. Um, I was really impressed with all three of those. And... So what I'm doing here is kind of taking that and kind of trimming around the edges a little bit of like that. There's like a couple other six mana cards and and so on. Um, and basically taking those out and getting some red in the deck, getting some Outlaws Merriments in particular. That's really the, the card that I want to be playing here. I really like Outlaws Merriments. I think this is a card that I like during preview season, I didn't think it would be that great as like an enchantment you have to untap with with everybody playing teferis but the, the truth is not many people are playing teferis with everybody playing okos and enchantments are a lot better in our oko metagame than our teferi metagame and and so yeah so i want to just play some outlaw merriments in this deck and then if we're playing red we get a couple of clarions in here as well and some theater of horrors for some extra card advantage so yeah, this one should be pretty fun. Let's give this a try here with some Mardu enchantments. Let's see how this does. Let's see if it does better than the Orzhov control yesterday. <laughs> Hawkeye always pilots the decks. He's always he's telling me what to do. He's like, he's like, click on that land. All right, so we need a lot more white mana with Cavalier costing triple, Merriment costing double. So basically, if it wasn't a white mana source, I was putting it down to the bottom. There's 26 lands in the deck because hitting our land drops is going to be pretty important. Oh no, the flash deck, no. This is what we, we lost this with the Orzhov control yesterday as well. Flash is just a really tough matchup for us. I think I want to save Murderous Rider for Ambusher. Like, basically, wait a turn for Rider. Ah, they're trying to go for the... They're trying to go for the Tilt Factor with... Um, different... Different Forests. All right, so now I need to draw white mana as well as Akaya's Wrath. I need to draw both of those. Hmm, we did not. Fortunately, this only would kill the... Spectral Sailor. All 
All right, they gave us a second white source. Now I gotta top deck Kaya's Wrath and hope they don't have a counter spell or another flash creature. No Kaya's Wrath. No other white source even for Cavalier of Dawn. It's just a very tough matchup for us. Just gonna take out the five and six mana cards. And try these ones. Instead. Yeah, Oko, okay. yeah. Yeah, Oko is not is pretty good in Simic Flash. We played yeah, we played like the Simic semi semi flash deck like with that had Oko um, you know, main deck and everything before and I was impressed with that one. That one looked pretty good. I maybe could have cut a land maybe with taking so much top end out. All right, well, at least we know no counter magic. Right now, that could be good for Kai's Rathen. Later on, I would I would love to draw like a Theater of Horrors or an Outlaw's Merriment. Those are the cards I wanted to be drawing here. All right, so I'll take that one. Gives them a good target to bounce if they want to do that. That's okay. It's just how life is. Oh, yeah. This is definitely the worst matchup for us, for sure. Certainly. I guess maybe I was supposed to Kaya's Wrath last turn. Hmm. Because I guess if I wait... If 
I wait till next turn to Kaya's Wrath, they're attacking for nine here. And then if they have a, if they just have one counter spell, I die. So I guess I have to do this both turns. I wish I still had that duress. I guess it's still, it's if they just have the one counter spell, I die. Oh no, because they then they don't, they can't get the borrower in play. Also, Oh, you'd need two more rares for the Orzhov Troll Knights. Yeah, which which two are you missing? So you can you can probably replace them with something else. And replace them with something that you, that you have. What are the chances that Oko doesn't get banned in the next announcement and continues to be in standard for like the, for the next two years? The um, I think the chance of it being in standard still for the next two years is pretty low, but the chance. You know, so even if it doesn't get banned this this time, I think its chances of getting banned are pretty high. Um, I kind of feel like... I kind of feel like they're going to ban stuff. Because I, I kind of feel like... Yeah, I kind of feel like everybody's expecting it to be banned. Or just... Simic cards in general. There's already a lot of people that aren't currently playing standard. You know, you hear from a lot of people, a lot of y'all that aren't currently playing standard because you're tired of playing against Oko. And if they don't do anything about it, I, I feel like that's just going to get a whole lot worse. Like, Would you rather see Oko banned or Nissa Goose Crisis banned? Absolutely Nissa Goose Crisis. If I could choose one of those. I don't think... I don't think Goose is, is amazing without Oko, though. There's... That is a 0% chance of happening, of them just unbanning Field of the Dead. There's a 0% chance of Field of the Dead getting unbanned. That's... That has no chance of happening. Yeah, there's no chance that it happens. Because there's the, just the scenario that... Like, if they unban Field of the Dead, and then... Why did I keep that Doom Foretold? That Doom Foretold's not even good. Like, why did I keep this card? They unban Field of the Dead, and then and then Field of the Dead dominates, and then everybody complains because then Field of the Dead's just everywhere, and it dominates again, and and it's best deck in the format again. Yada yada yada. 
and then people are like what do you even do and like why like you banned this in the first place for a reason then they have to go back and reban it and it's just like that's that's just such a nightmare there's there's no chance that it gets re like yeah there's no chance like maybe like a like an unbanning like rampage for Asadon at the very end right before it's <laughs> gets it's goes out again anyways but yeah there's there's no way Sure, strike. I really shouldn't have kept the other Doom Foretold. what instant they were having. That Othakaya was such a good draw step for me. I don't think there's any competitive way to make a seven dwarves deck. Not that I know of. I mean, besides just, you know, putting in a deck and, you know, just like magic, sometimes you'll win, sometimes you won't kind of thing. But I don't think there's any like realistic. Be able to gain two life. Yeah, mirror march. There you go. Seven dwarves with mirror march. Try to get to seventeen dwarves. So gain two life with one of those, and draw an extra card. All right, there you go. Yeah, Spark Double, Mirror March, Quasi Duplicate. I guess that could all work. Oh, I guess... I and I probably could have attacked. I don't know. We've seen sure strike and sure strike from them. I don't know if I'm attacking, if I'm just. Um, hmm. So they haven't played, you know, they didn't play lands in forever. I'm definitely assuming those are spells in hand. The reason why I don't want to block is because I could just block next turn anyway. Maybe this can give me attack that can help me with the theater of horrors. Help me turn on theater of horrors. The problem with taking it, they just go spawn a mayhem, though.
Yay. Well, we were going to be dead anyway. Even if I blocked. Well, I mean, if I block... No, because if I block, they have to spend mana. Yeah, that was... Yeah, sure. I mean, it, if I knew for sure that they had Spawn of Mayhem, I, I would have blocked. That was the risk I was taking. Um... Actually, that's probably better than Theater 4s. I'm going to take out the Theater 4s. You want to see more mono two-color decks played? There's still some good two-color decks. You don't see... Yeah, there's not very many mono-color decks just because you, you, it's not doesn't really cost you very much to play two colors, and usually you get to play a lot more co powerful spells. You know, we just went through Ravnica Block that had a whole lot of good multicolor cards. Um, usually your, your deck is just a weaker power level if you're playing one color. So you don't have as many options. Um, Starfield Mystic, I, I don't have it in here because, like, we're trying to play a lot of Wraths. You know, we got Clarion and... Clarion, Kaya's Wrath, main deck. Hey, Ragey Nomad. Thanks for resubbing. I always enjoy your chill. Always enjoy chilling in your streams. Keep it up. Thanks, Nomad. I'm glad to have you here. I played Starfield Mystic in the best of one version. Like, very similar version of this deck. You know, not this past Monday, but the Monday before, we played um, best of one Mardu Enchantments. Um, I was playing Fires of Invention. I was I was focused on like the four mana enchantment slot, um, and I had Starfield Mystics in there. And and there was definitely games that went turn two Starfield Mystic, turn three Outlaws Merriment, and it was awesome. You know, getting this down like on turn three. Yeah, Starfield Starfield Mystic could be an important card after Theros. Is we we've seen that there's there's going to be a lot of enchantment and and just enchantment based spells in Theros. So yeah, we kind of have a an introductory. I mean, this card's not bad. I mean, it's good, is what I mean. But I already have one. Like I already have expensive stuff. I don't know. Maybe I should just be keeping it though. Um. Maybe I should just be keeping that. Uh, 
Oh, I should play the other Outlaws Merriment. That's more fun. If I were you, this looks like a fun new. Toy. Um, so yeah, Starfield Mystic could be a big part of Standard. One thing that Starfield Mystic does not have go going, like, one bad thing about the card is it is a white card. And white is the worst color by a long ways. So just being a white way. card does make the card worse. It's, like, it's the worst color to be. Especially Maybe for cheaper creature like that. that. Yeah, I'm talking about in standard currently. Now, with that being said, that could change with Theros also. We've seen, like, the, you know, Elspeth is going to be back. I like the Elspeth. And so who knows, like if, if something happens with the B and R announcements, you know, we don't know what else is gonna be in Theros. To help out like white weenie type decks. I mean Charming Prince is awesome. Problem is it's just kinda just Charming Prince right now. As like good white creatures, like just mono white creature that costs less than five mana that's good you have like charming prince and tithe taker and that's kind of it yeah i like the cavaliers maybe i should maybe i should be taking out the dawn of hope for the third get that third cavalier back in here Yeah, Giant Killer, yeah, that's true. Giant Killer is fine. So that's my third white source. Do I want to keep this? Maybe I want to keep that. So I play the other temple again next turn, and then I shock Sacred Foundry. And then I have to go, if I do that, hmm, then I have to go shock Merriment if I want to play Merriment. Which I guess I don't. So I'm gonna have to shock this next turn, but then I'm gonna play. I mean, I could just shock Blood Crypt. Yeah, I guess I could shock Blood Crypt, and then I could have Castle Merriment, but then I'd have to shock again if I want that. Okay, or we're exiling this thing. Make it easy. Okay, you can't just sit. <laughs> you can't just sit on the mouse. <laughs> you just. You just sitting right here on the mouse. I can't. No. Get a, Get over here. <laughs> All right. Fine. You want to keep biting me. Okay.
Stormfist Crusader. Yeah, I want to play. Hey, Oslin. Ozzy, Ozzy wants a Jund Sacrifice. All right. I want to play the Outlaws Merriment, but I also kind of need to keep on killing stuff. Fun keeps on playing things I need to kill. Alright, so Jun Sacrifice with the Tier 3 sub. Sorry, Oslin, I just saw that. Tier 3 sub. Alright, we got Jun Sacrifice on the docket. That's right, with Tier 3 subs, you get a free donation deck along with it. When would you like me to play, said Jun Sacrifice? Do you have a, a day and time slot you'd like? I never get to play my Merry Mint. We saw multiple Sure Strikes from them game one. They could like attack with the 3-3 and then Sure Strike it and kill my Cavalier of Dawn. All right, finally getting it down. All right, two lands down at the bottom, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, we're out of eleven lands. After Bruise Day? Oh no, that's me dying right there. Kaya's Wrath. Kaya's Wrath. Ugh. I could still cast Kaya's Wrath there, so. All right, well, not dead. Put it after Bruise Day. So so you want it on, on Wednesday or Thursday? Yeah, it's, it's up to you, Oslin. You tell me the, the whatever day. You tell me the day and I'll play it. Flooded means drawing lots of lands. So flood means drawing lots and lots of lands. Yeah, tomorrow's an option. Yeah, you just tell yes. You tell me what day, what time slot. I'll play it. Everything's open. Um So assuming Doom Foretold means they're going to sacrifice this Knight of the Ebon Legion. And assuming they don't draw a land, they make this thing a 3-4 double strike. I double block. They do 3 to this. Then they do 1 and 2, but I gain 2 life. If I attack here, basically if I attack here, I die. I go to 3, but then the double strike kills me. So I was kind of checking there, because like this thing is life like they're both lifelink. What? Oh no. Oh my poor opponent. Oh they oh that's 
that's really unfortunate for them. That's, you know, kind of a bad design. I feel bad for them. If they draw a land, I die anyway. So we'll see if they draw the land that kills me on the spot. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, they yeah, they, they meant to click that card to sacrifice to the Doom Foretold, but the, the trigger was on the stack. And so it just it did it like they were clicking. Yeah, like they were clicking that. So they didn't get to actually equip an Ember Cleave. Wow, that's... I mean, I still... I would have had to double block and then survive at one. If they would have... If it would have turned around. Uh, that That's just really unfortunate, just to determine a match with a misclick like that. It's unfortunate. I wish we could have seen what we were going to draw. If we were going to draw an answer. Yeah, it's got to be tilting. Darn. I don't know how to fix if you're you're having trouble with the deckmaster overlay. I don't really know how to fix it except for maybe refresh your stream. Yeah, it's part of the variance. Sometimes you misclick, sometimes your opponent misclicks. It's part of the variance. But the thing is, it's not like it's not like we automatically lost if my opponent didn't do that if they played correctly. Or like what what my opponent was trying to do. If they would have taken the 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 correct line, what they were trying to do, I still was going to be able to survive at one when I was untapping there. They would have had just the one creature in play, and it, so it would have mattered. It, you know, I don't know what we would have drawn off of the egg if we would have found a removal spell. Plus, I had like the mana to play the egg. If we don't find removal, crack it to gain a little life. Maybe be able to crack the castle too. I don't know. So it. Like, the game wasn't over. Yeah, I, I think I've done that with Doom for Toll Trigger before, too. Yeah, because you have to click Resolve and then click your other stuff. Right, refreshing doesn't work. It's, are the ca card images working for other people? And if not, I can, I can close Deckmaster and reopen it. And see what happens there. Oh, it's not working for other people either? Oh, y'all should have said something. Alright, I'm going to try closing and reopening Deckmaster then. Alright, I closed it and reopened it. A handful of four drops. I need to play these Krathic Granariums. Hmm. I 
<laughs> yep, Clarion's all you need to be a green deck. I'm going to take out Murderous Rider, make my deck a little bit better against Veil of Summer. My deck's not too bad against Veil of Summer. I think I only have, like, Othakaya targeting with replacing Murderous Rider with Prison Realm. So then we have Cavalier of Dawn, Devout Decree as other targeted removal that doesn't get Veil of Summered. Doom Foretold's really powerful. Yeah, um, it's a it's a good card, and it's a I like it. It's a, it's a really cool card design here for a you know black white enchantment. It's a cool card. I like it. Like that card, but we need land. And of course, I had to. I could shock play Golden Egg to keep going, but you know, obviously, it's it's safer to play the Temple to make sure that we have Cry of the Carnarium next turn. That's the card I definitely want to play next turn. Ugh. I guess Love Struck Beast is a problem. Five five is pretty big. Can I get that Kai's Wrath back now? And you never know, it's possible they don't have a 1-1. One -one. No 1-1, one -one. and I did get that Kai's Wrath back. How about that? So now I, I got to be scared of all the haste creatures they could have, you know, Rankle, Questing Beast, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's the plan. Double Egg. Yeah, Double Egg Doom Foretold or Double Egg Kai's Wrath, depending on what we need. Um, which I guess I'm just going to go Doom Foretold here. I think my opponent just has removal and Veil of Summer in hand. You know, like they probably just have, you know, like murderous riders and Veil of Summers and lands. They weren't doing anything the last two turns. <laughs> Mardu egg enchantments. That's pretty good. Mardu egg enchantments. That's kind of the strength of my deck, though, is I'm good against murderous rider and Veil of Summer for being a control deck. And so that's that's a good spot to be. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Being a control deck that that you don't have to worry about Veil of Summer, that's awesome. So
So if I would have kept the card on top, it would have been exiled by Theater of Horrors. Oh, no, never mind. I would have drawn it from Doom Foretold. Never mind. Both players sacrifice a creature. I should probably crack this egg. Just play it safe. Probably crack that. All right, we both got to discard a card. I'll discard the land, even though I kind of like having the land. They discard Find Finality. Interesting. I can't lose a fight. Uh, I think you can still lose a fight. I wouldn't be so so definite there. My my, how you've grown. So would I rather discard foundry or temple? enemy I kind of think temple because I want I think I may want eight mana next turn activate theater Wrath, but I guess if I if I'm activating theater, then I'm getting a land. Okay, yeah, I'll just go foundry. Interesting. All right, so next turn, I will Cavalier this Vivian. It's fine. That's not as fine.
Stomping time. That hurts. I was really hoping they were going to do one and one for Cry of the Carnarium to be able to exile the innkeeper. Anger only gets me so far. But I still had that covered. But I didn't get to exile the innkeeper. No, I mean, I, I played Cry of the Carnarium earlier, so it makes sense that they wanted to play around it. Makes a lot of sense. Cool to know nothing. Um, three, six, nine. We'll count these lands one more time. Okay, still nine. Arena, stop lagging. All right, well, I guess we win the match. If the match ever ends. All right, I guess we won. I knew we had that theater of horrors going. I think it changed my graphics on me. Yeah, it bumped up to 1440, which definitely makes it lag more. All right, well, it has been two matches also and an hour. So I'm going to reset it like we do every hour. If you're on YouTube, you just click the fast forward 30 second button. <laughs> Mardoom. We have a lot of good names for this. Mardoom or Mardu Egg Champions. That's another good one. Uh, wait. Traditional standard where we're at. We're two and one. All right, we're back. Yeah, it's Mardoom Egg Champions. <laughs> we can really describe the the deck the best that we possibly can there. In two words. Creature having hexproof, doomed us again. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Yep, 
Yeah, that's true. Having all the temples does help with keepable hands. Gaze into Do they have no lands? And put on your true I have to beat six more spells. Yuck. This would be a good time for Liliana. Even Outlaw's Merriment. Alright, so they are Sultai. Means they can kill Liliana. I'm not really expecting them to have an instant speed creature, or sorry, instant speed permanent to keep them from sacrificing Oko next turn. Main phase ambusher? What's the point of that? I am just sacrificing the Doom for Toll now. Doom for Toll did its job. Did its job. Okay, I still have two white left over to make a one one. I can't, so I could ping them and then play the golden egg, but then I'm not, um, then I'm not playing the other theater. I'd rather just play the other theater. Yeah, if you don't have any cards left to draw, you lose the game. Yep. So that's, that's a way, that's a strategy that some people, um, enact to try to win games is making it so you don't have any cards in your library to draw. We got five cards that we're trying to grind down over there. It's kind of weird playing the Gilded Goose here. Like they know about they know about this Kaya's Wrath I'm about to play, right? Like why why would they even play the goose? I just get a free wolf. Free wolves. I hope they don't counter this. Yep. 
Cavalier so good. Now suddenly they only have four cards left and we have suddenly we have like the same number of cards and we have all these lands. These theater fours have saved us. That's that's their job though, to save us. Give us those these extra cards. Maybe I just shouldn't show them Liliana. So I could have played Liliana. I just won't show them Liliana. I'll get another land drop instead. Land drops, of course, are, are valuable whenever we have all these spells to play every turn. Yeah, so we just Dawn of Hope. They already know that we have a whole lot of enchantment. If they have enchantment removal on their sideboard, they're going to want to bring it in anyway. No, I'll just wait on on Doom. Not really in any, in any rush to play Doom Foretold. Do they have more Nightpack Ambushers? Nope. Skipping some frames there. Yeah, basically Doom would just, you know, we'd play it as the 4-mana 2-2 two, two, ETB. They discard a card. I draw a card. They lose two. I gain two. Yeah, Merry Mint. Merry Mint definitely makes our, my theater better. I want to get over here. Um, no impossible is nothing. I do not agree with your sentiment that standard is a dumpster fire. I do not agree with that. I did the wrong thing there. I meant to do this. Make a 1-1. One, one. That's crude. Attack. I'm at 29 cards in library. They're at 48. <laughs> Extra 20 cards. Um, I don't really need to draw more cards. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, so then three, four. So of course I could play the egg. I'm just going to I'm just gonna be able to activate Dawn of Hope three times though. Or four times. I don't know, a lot of times. One, two, three. Three times. Kefnet? What is going on here? Kefnet? I don't have any spells. Uh, 
All right, so we need the Noxious Grasps. Probably want the Elder Spell as well. Oko Nissa, cards that I'm worried about. Um, wouldn't mind another Sweeper with a Realm Cloak Giant. And now we got to find four cards to sideboard out. Uh, Othakaya, Dawn of Hope are some of the weaker ones. But the problem is, is Doom Foretold gets a lot worse if we're taking out Othakaya's. That's kind of a problem. Um, like my opponent didn't really play anything that, that makes Othakaya that good. But if I just take out the Othakaya's completely, Doom Foretold's not going to be too great, but I kind of want to just take out Othakaya's. Right, it's, it's the worst card in the deck right now. Hmm. We'll give it a try. We'll see if we can get the four golden egg dream. Hopefully that's good enough. Yeah, I could have, instead of making the creatures to attack, I could have, yeah, I could have just activated theater three times and then untap and upkeep theater twice and then not show any more cards. All right, so we need another black mana for Kaya's Wrath. We have the Scry, we have the Golden Egg. Golden Egg can just filter, but I, as we see, I really want to keep Golden Egg for Doom Foretold. And we have Clarion before that anyway. Oh, hey, more black mana. How about that? All right, so we're good on lands. That's not a land, so we'll keep it. Um. No Oko, please. No Oko. Darn. That was the main reason why I wanted to shock in with the golden egg to to help I'm dig towards something that to removed an Oko. It's not poison. Theater's not really doing anything for a while. Surely you must be famished. But I'm playing it here on turn three so that on like turn eight I'll have some cards underneath it that maybe we'll be able to do something with. Not too surprising. They're really like main phase in this night pack ambusher for no reason. Except for the reason to get wrathed. It's not poison. Oh, that's going to go underneath theater. I 
I was like, okay, well, I could I get an Elder Spell and Clarion this next turn, but... Oh, dear. I can still Elder Spell this next turn by activating Theater, even if I don't draw a land. Okay. That, make, that makes my life easier, drawing the land so I can just Murderous Rider. May we meet again. Or not. Hmm. I only have three. If I activate, I only have three mana. I want land drops. Okay, good. So now this next turn I have eight mana. So like I said, I said turn eight. I said I wasn't gonna do anything with theater until turn eight. There we go, now we're, turn eight, we'll finally do something. Get extra lands. Let's play this thing. Oh, sack of goose. But this kind of keeps them from playing anything this next turn also. It's just better for me. I could have just played the Outlaws Merriment last turn, but I I did kind of want to just get two cards out of the Theater of Horrors also in, in case something happened to it. Yeah, that'll slow us down. Not having merriment, but that's okay. We got theater, so we good. Convolute? Why don't you, why don't you just play Mystical Demise? Through this land, we are all connected. This song's your jam, this boards of Canada. Yeah, this song's my jam too. Rise, my elemental friend. Well, I think we can kill that Nissa. I think I'll just go ahead and use one of these elder spells. Since we got two of them. We did see, like, my opponent did play a Kefnet previously, so, like, maybe they'd have, like, another Kefnet, and so it'd be good to save the Doom Foretold. I wish they would tap more red and white sources. 
going to get convoluted. Alright, no. Poor murderous rider. And we start attacking. So if I Kai's Wrath, I gain two life. Seems a little unnecessary. I think we have enough mana by now. So we're good there. Looks like we may have a little bit more mana than my opponent. Probably by, by one or two. I don't know. It's, it's close. Probably too close to call. Gain three life. Sure. We got just the slow grind of Outlaw's Merriment and uh, Theater of Horrors. Revel with your king, wild and <laughs> How many supers do you run? Free. Todd? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we got Let's enough sweepers. Your existence. I really like in that one too, because yeah, we get to just do that damage and turn on theater immediately. That's always good. Um, we'll play this thing and this thing. And this thing. Yeah, Hawkeye, you're in my way. I have to look over there now. Because you like just standing right here. Yeah, Marty Sweeper Tribal. Don't you like don't you like going to your upkeep and stacking your all of your multiple, you know, like your three enchantment cre uh, enchantment triggers. Did you love enchantment triggers on upkeep? That's always good.
Okay. And we're three and one. I feel like I have to reset Arena after every single one of these, though, because it just... The frame skipping is just so much. It's not like the reset's really even helping too much. Enchantments are definitely good in our Oko world. Not nearly, wasn't nearly as good in the Teferi world. And we're three and one. So we get. We're either playing one or two more matches. If if we lose, we're out, because either we win five or lose two. If we lose, we're out. If we win, we get to go to the final boss. So we gotta win. Yeah, the yeah, the, the main phase night pack helped me out. So the top eight, yeah, because I hadn't seen that because I've been streaming stuff. So the top eight of the Mythic Championship this weekend, six of the eight were Oko decks, and the other two were also green. So eight for eight green. I mean, 85% of the decks were green anyway, and 70% were Oko. So, like, just green did a little bit better than represented, but not that much, you know, so 70 went to 75%. Then, obviously, 85% to 100, that's a pretty big jump. Um, I mean, it's not bad to have an untapped land where I don't have to pay two life, but... Yeah, it was 69% Oko. Yeah, it's at 70 to round it, but yeah, it was technically 69%. Nice, Borderland Ranger. Nice. Okay. Outlaw's Merriment getting it done. Get a couple of cries for the kitties. Cry of the Catenarium. And that. And this exiles. And then we're taking out... Ryder... thing about taking out Ryder is they could be playing Chandra. Not all their lists play Chandra, but some of them do. Hmm. Definitely taking out Elder Spell. Like, that card's gonna go. Alright, so we gotta take out four more. Uh, we can trim one Lily. Maybe I can trim two. I could probably trim a Theater of Horrors. Can just kind of take out some of our slower win cons. Um, I think I like, I don't know, Dawn of Hope. I don't know. Makes good 1-1 one -one lifelinkers. But I guess if they have like Mayhem Devil in play, just killing the 1-1 one -one lifelinkers. All right, it's fine. We'll take it out.
And then, uh, yeah, it could be an oath. Oath could, like, it could help. And eh, we got Cavalier of Dawns and stuff, too. All right, we'll take out an oath. Well, I mean, they, yeah, they kill Mayhem Devil and, like, the two creatures that my opponent played besides the Cauldron Familiar. Oath is good against both of them. Priest of Forgotten Gods and Mayhem Devil, but we have a lot of sweepers and everything now, so we should be okay. for the merriment. These cries have been pretty good. Got two extra lands down to the bottom. can't just sit there in front of the screen the whole time. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah, you can just headbutt the microphone. <laughs> um, all right, gonna gonna keep the Cavalier of Dawn because Cavalier of Dawn dies. I get Outlaw's Merry Mint back. I think that could be a really good card to get back. Plus, plus it could kill Witch's Oven if my opponent ever has Witch's Oven. I think I want to sack. I mean, I think I want the Cavalier of Dawn to die so I can grab Merry Mint. Yeah, so like I just got it in play. I was gonna Doom Foretold. Get rid of something. All right, final boss time. Maybe that one was fast enough. That we don't have to reset. All right, final boss. Here we go. Where's our playlist? Got to get in the mood. Final boss. Final boss. Here we go. Everybody got their final boss emotes in the chat. Love it. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye's trying, trying to make my life difficult. He's like, I'm the star. I can do what I want.
I probably should have led with Sacred Foundry and, and Scry turn two, honestly. That, that's probably just my, my bad. Theater of Horrors just helps me win a late game, and I already have the cards to win a late game. Oh, it's the same opponent? Oh, I didn't even notice. Well, then I would not have kept this hand. <laughs> this is a bad keep. Now, I'm guessing our opponent... Um, maybe, they, maybe that was their second loss and they started a new event. That's probably what happened. Oh no, Midnight Reaper. That card's so good. Yeah, Revenge of the Final Boss. You know, like when you beat the final boss, but like in like halfway through the game, you know, and then it comes back final form. They're coming back final form here. They had, you know, they're curving out. They had one drop, two drop, three drop, including the best three drop. Draw three cards there. They're on a roll. <clears throat> final, final form, final boss is tough. No, event match aren't... No, you don't always get matched against people with the same record. Living in a monastery full of firebrands? Don't worry. No, I'll it's... I mean, because if you think about it, I mean, I have different win total from last match to this match, so we couldn't be matched together. So they couldn't have a different win total also. But no, it, it tries to pair you with the same record, but it also tries to pair you quickly. So you just get paired. Yeah, I was definitely hoping for the White Land to kill the Chandra. That hurts. That's four. Five, six, seven, eight. Puts me down to three. And then they still have four mana. Yep, they got their dream opening. I kept a hand with four lands, five drop, six drop, six drop. That was dumb of me. That was dumb. That's lethal. Get the sacrifice triggers after attacking. All right, so I just sideboarded here, and I liked how I sideboarded. Did I bring in Realm Cloak Giant? I think I did this, and then I think I cut one Othakaya. I don't think I want to cut the Othakaya. We saw, like... Yeah, I want to keep the Othakaya, I think. But we do know now that they have Chandra. Yeah. 
Yeah, I felt like I had to kill... I mean, if, if they didn't have Chandra, we would have been fine. Because I was going to be able to kill Priest the next turn with Kaya's Wrath, but... I had to kill the Midnight Reaper to make to turn on Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, final boss always always harder than the mini boss, that's for sure. I'll take out a Theater of Horrors, because that's not a card that I really want early. It's like, it's a card that helps me win the game when I've st stabilized kind of thing. Hey, what's up, Danny? Honestly, maybe I should be cutting the other Theater of Horrors, too, to be honest. Um, We're doing okay on land right now. Yeah, I probably should be cutting the other theater fours. Maybe playing like the Rome Cloak Giant instead, or so they Liliana or something else. Please, no Midnight Reaper this time. Please, no Midnight Reaper. No! Ugh. Final boss, why are you so tough? They should sacrifice their two creatures. They draw three cards either way, but then I would have lost two life if they would have sacrificed their two creatures. They could have made me lose two more life. There. Won't lie. I'm a oh, they're so cute. Mm. That also hurts. I, I was thinking that I was going to be able to Doom Foretold and get rid of that Chandra. Yes, yeah, so they would have lost one less life and I would have lost two more life. Say hi to my fiery friends. Alright, so they can kill Liliana. If I were you, I'd just surrender. By minus four. Now they get three triggers. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, that would have been a lot better if I could have Doom for Told away the Chandra. Hey, these little guys are great. May need to take a turn to gain some life here with the golden egg.
Chandra's not paying me to death. The Mayhem Devil is. Okay, that's good. That can kill Chandra. Still have four cards over there, though. They could just easily have another Chandra, and if so, I die. If they have another Chandra, I die. Um... Like, I, I could just play the Doom Foretold and sack the Golden Egg and go to seven, and they sacrifice this thing, but then that's just a lot of damage. I mean, I guess I'm not even going to seven. Should I just kill the Devil? I'm gonna just kill this Devil. I mean, they could just have another Mayhem Devil now, but gives them one less attacker here. So, worthy to craft craft Jeskai Fires for best of one, having in mind that I'll, it will be the only competitive deck I'll have besides Gruul. Yeah, likely, likely you're okay there. Um, again, this is this is not like the best time to be crafting stuff with the BNR announcement in nine days. But it's really just not knowing what's going to happen with the BNR announcement in nine days. Um, if you've seen this one before. I mean, I think everything from Jeskai is going to be fine, but I don't know. I I just have like a weird feeling about this BNR announcement. Like I I could see. Now things are getting heated. I could see it being like crazy. Like, you know, like four or five cards getting banned. Like, I am not happy right now. Like, who knows? Basically, just don't think anything's really that safe. So, like, you know, Teferi. I don't. I don't know. I wouldn't just say that Teferi is safe. I don't know. I don't think that just playing Liliana and ticking up is going to save me. I'm going to be cracking an egg. For sure. So now it's do I play Doom Foretold? Or do I crack the second egg? And I guess I have to crack the second egg. One egg puts me at one, and then you know, then I'm dead to any haste creature. You know, a cauldron familiar. You know, like basically everything kills me if I just crack the one egg because you know they sack the mask of immolation. That's good. Maybe I'm not cut out for this.
So like they're gonna be able to sac sacrifice the the Midnight Reaper here to bring back the Cauldron Familiar. And the next turn, Cauldron Familiar. So like I'm I'm dead right now. If I don't do anything. And I have to attack with both creatures. So if I if I just attack with one creature, they block and then sacrifice and I do no damage and I gain no life. So I have to attack with both creatures. Okay, they let me do two they let me get both of them. That's good. Uh, this is good if we can stabilize. Let's see, I'm at four. Putrid, but effective. That was my only play to, to guarantee another turn. Well, with, with just what's on the battlefield. I really want to be getting like the two one life linkers, but of course with the witch's oven, they get to sacrifice. I need to draw like Othakayas. That would be nice, but hopefully we can draw more cards with the Liliana. You know, hopefully I can get some more creatures to die. Go ahead, sacrifice, destroy something, attack. I can minus They were a lousy servant anyway. Wow. What a good draw. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, that was good. <laughs> good help is easy. Yeah, we we're coming back. We're up to six. I feel like my opponent could have used that witch's oven a lot better. fine. That's fine. I think they could have... Like, if I were them, I would have blocked... Like, the first turn, I would have blocked and then sacrificed Midnight Reaper and not let me gain life there. And then the next turn, whenever I attacked the 2-1 Life Linker, I would have blocked with the Cavalier, but I would have just sacrificed the Cavalier and got back the Midnight... Uh, the uh, sorry, the Mayhem Devil. I'm not really too concerned about my opponent gaining life. We can just both gain a lot of life. That's kind of good for me. Oh no! They had another one. Not good, not good. Yeah, hey, 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 speaking of another one.
Good scry to the bottom first. And now they're doing this. I think they should have done last previously. Okay, so I get to make two foods. I was already, already going to do a lot of damage to me anyway. Like a fun new toy. So I'm down to three right now. I guess down to two technically. Because they can attack with a cat and I have to block. Or like if I block then they sack the other food. So I'm technically at two. Yeah, Lily ult. We had to get rid of the Mayhem Devil, obviously, for Lily ult. Um. That is good. That is good. Alright, so what are they going to do? They're going to go grab Mayhem Devil? What are they gonna get? Oh, listen to my symphony. Like if they sacrifice Cavalier of Night. Yeah, they're keeping priest. Honestly, you know what? Yeah, that was kind of my plan. Lily ult, then Clarion, lifelink attack. Honestly, I think this was the wrong plan. Now that I kind of think about it more, like that was just kind of the instinctual plan. I think the correct plan actually was just first, but while Lily was on the battlefield, just do Clarion three damage to everything and lifelink and just wipe my, like basically just draw six cards. I kind of feel like I should have done that. All right. Guess the game 14 was good enough, though. All right, going to game three. Oh, man, final boss is so much harder than the first time. All right, yeah, let's take out this Theater of Horrors. Maybe bring in the other Lily or bring in the Realm Cloak Giant. I like the Lilies. Get to draw a lot of cards. Did see a lot of Chandra's though. I could just play one. I could play one Elder spell instead of that Lily. I'll play one Elder spell. Basically, we're going to 
scry to a decent hand. Our deck wants to hit land drop, so we got that. Cavalier of Dawn killing uh, killing those witches ovens was so big. So basically playing this because we'll get the scry one, you know, like we're just it's basically just destroy it, get the scry one in. Yep, that'll help get rid of oven. Now I got this extra prison realm. Gotta get rid of these witches ovens. <laughs> They're trying to sacrifice the food. No, can't do that. This is the real question here. Dun 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 Five wins. Cry was you think Cry was the better choice? <clears throat> okay, so if if I cast you know that just that very last turn, if I cast Cry, then my opponent you know sacrifice. If I cast Cry, they draw a card, and um, then you know their Witch's Oven gets sacrificed. Then my Doom for Toll gets sacrificed. If I cast the the card that I did play, um, Prison Realm, then if they sacrifice their their card, then they get to draw a card, and they sack their Witch's Oven, and then it goes to my turn, and I sack the Prison Realm. So that's better for me. If they if they don't sacrifice, like what happened, I, I exile, and they don't get to draw a card, and they still sacrifice their Witch's Oven, and then I would sacrifice the Doom Foretold, like before, so they wouldn't draw a card. Now I didn't have that prison realm left for a planeswalker though. That's the that's the risk. But it's prison realm's the better card to play that turn, but it could be worse depending on what my opponent has after that. Uh yeah, they still would have drawn with with witches if witches oven sacrifices. Yeah, you know, if they if they activate their witches oven and sack it, they'd still draw it either way. They they had the ability to Okay, so um, how low opponent milt? Oh, I don't, I don't know if they. I mean, I think they definitely mulliganed. I think it was just six. I don't think they mulled the five. I think they mulled the six, but I'm not sure. They, yeah, they didn't keep a seven. Anyway, happy pie. Thanks for the cheers. Thank you so much there. 
All right, so that's Mardu Enchantments. Pretty fun deck to play here. Cavalier of Dawn, Liliana. Those cards looking good. Um, yeah, I liked the build. I think Dawn of Hope is, was probably, like, yeah, I wasn't too impressed with the Dawn of Hope. I think that was a card I wasn't really impressed with. I could see playing a fifth egg, you know, like playing one of the other ones. Um, I could see playing the fourth Othakaya. Um, those would probably be the two cards that I may want to replace Dawn of Hope with, but I, I think that Dawn of Hope is kind of unnecessary um, in in this deck. Um, could could play a third Clarion in the main, could play a Cry the Carnarium in the main, could play a Realm Cloak Giant in the main. Uh, those are all other options. I think the Don I think I don't like the Dawn of Hope. I guess if I would run it back, I would probably say I would probably choose like the other the other egg is Guild Globe, by the way. Um so would I play Guild Globe? I, I think I would want to play something else, basically. I think probably Guild Globe. Yeah, I think I'd probably play the Guild Globe. Just one more of these eggs effects. It just makes your Doom, for, Doom Foretold better, and it that does kind of help you hit your land drops and everything like that, too. And... Well, the the thing is, we're not really sacking it for mana. That That's not really anything that we're ever doing. Like, I, I never sacrifice this for mana a single time, I don't think. Um, it's this thing we get to sacrifice for life or, you know, we're sacking it to the Doom Foretold. So it's nice to be able to have this that we're always going to sacrifice to Doom Foretold where I can still have this to sacrifice for life. So, yeah, I think I would take out that that Dawn of Hope and play a Guild Globe there. I think our late game's good enough that we don't need it. Because basically, like, Theater of Horrors is awesome late game. Merriman is awesome late game. Liliana, awesome late game. Like, we, ha we have awesome late game cards. We don't need that Dawn of Hope. We want to like hit land drops, find find our cards that matter. Guild Globe helps us do that, and also Guild Globe makes our Doom Foretold even better. So I would I would change that moving forward. Okay, um, but there we go. So that's that's Mardu Enchantments, another awesome deck here. Liked it. I think I liked it more than just the Orzhov Control that we played yesterday. That was similar. Um, that you know, didn't have red because I like Outlaw's Merriment. I think that's a fun card to play. And Deafening Clarion's a good one to have in the main as well. So I liked it. Theater Forwards is pretty cool too. All right, if you're watching on YouTube, you know you know what to do. Hit that like button. Leave some comments. Uh, I'd appreciate if you do both of those over on YouTube. But that's it here for Mardu Enchantments. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.